Hey y'all, welcome back to Kitten Pop Creations. For those of you that are just joining me, welcome to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that you stopped by. For those of you that are returning, we are gonna have so much fun today. Today is one of my favorite things for one of my favorite seasons. I live in Texas, and for Texas we go big for football season. This is all for homecoming. Today we're gonna be doing a homecoming mum, and I know that for a lot of my northern friends, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, but um, we are going to be doing this thing called a homecoming mum that our girls wear for homecoming like trophies. For my northerners, y'all can wear them for baby showers or birthday parties or anything like that or just something cute that you can decorate the walls with, but for my southerners, y'all know homecoming, we go big. So stay tuned so that we can all learn how to do some crazy beautiful mums. And Tiffany, my girl who I'm making this mum for, this one's for you doll. So first things first, homecoming season is a big season for Texas. We go huge for homecoming. That's why you're pushed back a little bit further than I'm used to so that you can see all the goodies that we're gonna be putting together. Everything you see here, you will need. We need a ton of ribbon, we need braids, we need um, letters for our lady's name. We've gotta be able to put out, uh, spell out homecoming, some beads, we need some trinkets. We've gotta have our bells, our cowbells, of course. Um, the little girl that I'm making this for, Miss Tiffany, is a sophomore. She is, oh my goodness, she is part of the band. Of course, this is football season. I have my glue sticks ready to go. I gotta load this one up. You can tell this is the last one that I used. Now I, I know that they have glue guns that are um, low heat. I don't like a low heat glue gun because I like that stuff to stick. Now, it does hurt. Believe me, it hurts. But um, it's all worth it in the end because these will come out phenomenal. Um, one of the first things that we're going to do is get our ribbon together. Now we have to kind of prep things before we get started. Um, let's first prep our mum. This video is going to take a little while, so because we have to work in pieces. One of the biggest things that we have to remember when we're working with a mum or creating a mum is balance. Um, I'll show you what I mean. You'll you'll understand it here in a bit. Now I have our cute little bear. We're gonna stick our bear right in the middle, but he's kind of naked. So let's work on that. To find all this cute little stuff, I went over to a craft shop. It's a little mom shop. Now all this stuff can be bought at Hobby Lobby as well or Michael's. If you're in the area where they make mums, they will have this kind of stuff. Let's see if I can't put a little mum on this bear. What I'm doing is just cutting a little, a few little strips to make the bear's mom just look like a little miniature mom. It's gonna be super, super cute. Oh, let's see, my glue gun's already ready to go. Now, depending, of course, on the team colors, are gonna be depending the color that you're gonna choose. Please forgive the thunderstorms that are going on outside. If my microphone is picking it up.
go. Now my little bear will have a little mum on. And of course, she is gonna have spirit as well. So let's go ahead and have her holding this. There we go. And of course, everybody knows little girls in Texas wear big bows in their hair. Oh. Make sure that dries. Now, if you are a mom and you do this for your daughter, which I do, be careful. Because other little girls will want you to start making them. My daughter's friends go gaga every year for her mom. They always, oh my goodness, why won't this dry? My daughter's friends go crazy every year. They always ask me if I'll make them. And it takes a while to make these things, which I don't mind making them. But I do want to be paid for them. They take a lot of supplies, they take a lot of time. I burn myself constantly. So um, I will charge upwards of $150 for one because look at all this stuff. And you'll see by the end of this video, they are worth upwards of $150, $200, depending on if you make one mom, two, or if you do the heart stack of three. Um, so, I mean, they are definitely worth it worth the money that you put and the time that you put into it because honey that's your time that's your energy that's your money it's a craft it really is and if you have ever sat around and made one or watched someone make one you really see that it takes a little bit of effort to make something really pop and in high school it's all about making something pop all right good so i think she's finally gonna stay so our little bear has a bow in her hair she has a little itty bitty mum going on here she's got spirit yes she does i'll leave her there now we are going to hot glue her into the mum. I'm going to find the flattest spot that I can find right in the center. That way she fits nice and even. Get this out of the way. And I'm, I'll police my mess in a little bit when I'm all done. I do love making these, even though they, they are difficult. They take time. Uh, sometimes precision work relaxes people and this definitely does. It relaxes me. I enjoy it. it. Makes me happy to create something and you'll see, I'm telling you. When it's all done, it will be like a trophy and this little girl's gonna be walking around school on homecoming with a trophy attached to her chest. I'm gonna show you how to wear one of these too for those of you northerners who don't know how to wear one. You gonna learn today. So we're just going to hot glue her in there. I'm going to put as much hot glue as I can stand. Oh, my hot glue's not melted just quite yet, but that's okay. Oh, we will get her started. Ow. See, I burn myself every time. It doesn't matter how hard I try, I will always burn myself. So please, please be careful. Don't do this if you uh, are not under supervision of an adult. If you are an adult, please be careful. Because it doesn't matter. You will burn yourself. And hot glue is unforgiving. Unforgiving. But that's why it stays. 
that's why we work with it. That's why we love it for moms because it solidifies perfectly. I've seen some moms made with staples. Um, it's really not my way to go. I don't like the way moms stay with staples. I don't like the way it looks. They're easy to rip off. Dang, that was hardcore. Gave me a little blister. So we're gonna get some more in here. Because I do not want this little bear to fall out at all during her day. Because remember, they're in high school. They're gonna be running around all day long, not paying attention. People are passing them by in the hallway. They have their books in their backpacks. You wanna make sure this thing is strong enough to withstand a whole day walking through the halls in high school. Very, very good. See, and now we have our mom. She ain't going anywhere, right? She is so cute. Oh my goodness. When I do a mom like this, even the mom, it is worth every blister. It is worth every little cut and scrape and burn, I'm telling you, because once we are done with this, it it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And yes, it's going to be this long. She's gonna wear it all day. It, these are things that girls like us in Texas, like we hang them on our walls and we keep them there for our entire four years of high school. I'm telling you that I'm not even joking when I say they're like our little trophies in high school. So we're gonna set her aside until we're ready to do all that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the braid. Braid looks kind of plain. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I am extra, okay? I am hearts and flowers and unicorns and all that stuff. So I gotta go big. Girl, you know, I gotta go big. So we take a smaller flower. And this is why it's good to have a crafty mom because, you know, a crafty mom will make your mom a little bit better. Just with a little bit more bells and whistles, you know. So what I like to do is I'll take a mom and I'll take a football helmet and I'll attach it to the bottom or the base of the braid because I just think it looks cute. I mean, big hair, everything's bigger in Texas. I mean, I know we're the only ones that do mums, but you know, you go bigger, you go home with mom. I'm gonna try not to burn myself again. I love working on this plastic table because uh, girl, I don't have to worry about getting resin on it. I don't have to worry about getting hot glue on it. I don't have to worry about this table at all. Glitter, color, anything. I need some water. Go Bill. He's good to go. I'm just gonna glue this in here. Let's take this off. You're thinking, oh my God, look at all that hot glue. Yes, look at all that hot glue. It's gotta stay, I'm telling you. High school kids are rough on their stuff. They just are. So, there we go the end of the braid so that braid is taken care of so now we will need to do a bit of a tricky part not necessarily tricky 
but this is really going to add like a bang to the mum. Now I specifically get a fatter ribbon and a thinner ribbon and I'll tell you what. The thinner ribbon is for the letters. Each letter is roughly about an inch tall, okay? So I'm going to make a loop for each letter. And then I'm going to glue it on here, each letter, for each letter of her name. And since Tiffany doesn't have any other letters for homecoming, I will be able to find, use each one for homecoming as well. And these will drape across the sides. Remember, balance. We have to have balance in these mums, otherwise they look like trash. So, let's get started. So now, now that I have all these cut and ready to go, I have to glue them together. Just very lightly on the tip. Don't need a whole, whole lot. I like to do it so the shiny part of the ribbon is facing outward. Whew. So, all of it is done. Now, we can take our letters and we're gonna put on each letter for her name and homecoming, and then we're gonna glue it to each ribbon, okay? I know this is a lot of prep work before we actually get into it, and then we're gonna start layering the actual honeycomb. Yes, oh yes, we have to have honeycomb in a beautiful mom, okay? That's, that's just, that's, that's how it goes. So let's get started on some letters. Finally, the last one. So we have our ruffles. Now we can put all these letters away. Now that we're full of glitter and stickies, which is not a big deal because we all knew that was gonna happen, right? Right, let's be real here. Okay, so we're gonna take, we're gonna move some of these out of the way, of course. And we are gonna gear up to add these to a ribbon. Now, like I said, we're gonna get a fatter ribbon and we're gonna add the name. Now, I like to go from the bottom to the top. So I spread out the name and I'll put the last letter first and work my way up. That way I can see the spacing better. I don't know why it's just easier to see the spacing better when I work from the bottom to the top. Some people like it from the top to the bottom, but because they hang one over the other, I'm, the spacing I can just see better when I put the bottom letter first and then work my way to the top. So give yourself enough space. I know that this is as long as it's gonna be. This is gonna get covered up mostly, so I'm gonna leave myself some room. Um, I can see about how long her name's gonna be, so I'll probably start with the bottom letter about right here, because remember that tail end is gonna be kicked around all day long. It's gonna be somewhere around her, between her knees and her hip. So let's get started.
Okay, so this ribbon is done and it does have the ruffle effect. This kind of looks unfinished and I don't like it and that's why we get these little things. So I think I'm gonna put the band right here to kind of cover that up and give it a little bit more of an embellishment. That way it looks just pretty. So let's add that. See, blue comes from everywhere, just out of the little holes. I'm going to be one big glue burn by the end of this, but you know what? It's all right. It's going to be all right. So let's set this down. We're going to get us our next fat ribbon so that we can do homecoming, and we're going to set that one up. homecoming see so pretty I love that ruffled look it just it just gives it that little pop so I think we may put a football helmet <coughs> excuse me or should we put the hand hmm. or should we put soft hmm like a sophomore. Let's do the sophomore. And while that's drying, I can add this cute little heart to the top. I almost forgot about this little heart for the top of this ribbon. that one there we go so we'll set that one aside as well now I need to get some oh, sorry my head was completely cut off now I'm gonna need to get some string ribbon so we can hang these and let them decorate here is my string ribbon Like I said, you got to have your bells. A lot of schools nowadays in Texas are telling the girls that they can't have the bells or they walk up to them, they just cut them off. Let me tell you something. If somebody cuts off my daughter's bell, I will be down at the school raising all kinds of a stink, okay? But I do understand that they are a distraction. So what I do is I tape the bell so it doesn't make any noise. And if they don't have a problem with it, then she can untape it by the end of the day. But bells are a tradition on our moms, so I really think that it's unfair that they would just walk around and just cut them off like that. So rude. Why would you do that? This is a tradition. With all the other distractions at school, you're really going to take away the bell? Like, this is not a distraction? Are you kidding me that you're worried about the bell? Come on now. Come on, meow. So we're just gonna tie these up so they can be a little added embellishment, something real cute to hang off. A little ornament, if you will. Sometimes if your string is long enough, you can actually put two, and then when you glue it to the moon, you glue one and one, and then you can use the same ribbon for two things. I'll show you. I'm going to have to cut 
this into a little itty bitty sharp. Now we are almost to the easy part. <laughs> I know this tutorial is super, super long. I warned you, I warned you it would be a while. But I have been told before to do tutorials on these things because I do love to make them and they are fun and they are gorgeous and they are worth it. And I figured I would help you guys out. So here we are having fun making this. This is going to be long enough that I can cut it in half. One on one side, balance, and one on the other. All right. So, I think we are ready to get started with the base of the actual mum itself. So, what we are going to do is... Now y'all are gonna have to bear with me because I'm gonna be bent over and trying to get this, and I'm gonna be doing it upside down um, a little bit and just trying to get you to kind of understand what I'm saying when I say it. So let's, let's just jump into it, okay? So, in the background you need something to make the honeycomb pop. So we have our background. It's got to be kind of that flat color, just that basic colors for whatever color scheme you're looking for, okay? So here we are. You got to alternate it, remember. Because your honeycomb going to bring it out. Oh, you see these holes? The holes from the shop where it was hanging on the display, that goes on the top. That way nobody sees it. Because people will catch that. They'd be surprised. Oh, get as many glue sticks as you can, girl. You are going to need them. All right. So let's start by hot gluing the base. I use this a lot because then I don't have to touch it. And then I don't have to burn myself. The more hot glue, the better. My pants are getting tired. We have a little bit left over. See if we can't balance this out a little bit. Mm. That hole we were talking about. Those two don't really balance, so let's hold on to those. If we can use those later. These are nice and fat. So we're going to use some holographic right after. a different size. So we are going to use these two. Okay. 
Now the hot glue will almost melt these uh, holographic ribbons, so please be careful. I try not to touch them at all. Now here comes the best part, the honeycomb. Honeycomb is a staple for my mums. I don't like to do a mum without a honeycomb. My daughter hates mums without a honeycomb because she's spoiled. But that's what I get for being a crafty mom and spoiling her. But I tell you what, the prettiest moms out there have honeycomb. And we're gonna even embellish this a little bit with some honeycomb, so that's why I always get some extra. You will see that here in a bit. Now remember balance. I want to make sure that this all stays within. You may be thinking that's gaudy or that's extra. Honey, that's what a mom is. It should be gaudy. It should be extra. Now this is our base for right now, okay? So, good. We are going to get the rest of our pretty. Now this one's actually a material. Now the good thing about the material is that I will need a little piece of it for later and you'll see why. I'll show you that later. Since we took a little piece off of that one, we're gonna have to balance it. Gotta take a little piece off the other side. make sure everything looks right. Right? Okay. All right, so we are gonna get this one's right in the middle. And we get these beads, these beaded pretties. Material ones. I don't need to go next. Now we need this break right in the middle. She is a shining star. nice and clear so we can put those on the top but we have to do our homecoming and our Miss Tiffany now it would be easier if I knew which side she was gonna wear it on that way I could put her name on the outside because usually I like the name on the outside since I don't know which side she was gonna wear it on, I'm just gonna take, gonna take a guess and I'm gonna put her name on this side. So Miss Tiffany, I hope you wear it on this side so that your name is on the outside. And this side will be her homecoming. There we go. 
go. Now you're not gonna see all this, see this mess up here? That beautiful little flower with that cute little bear that has its own little mom? She's gonna cover it. Just give me a second, guys, give me a second. I know you guys are like, Nicole, that looks like crap. Not really. Here we go with her little band castle. Okay, there's that one. It goes much faster once you have everything done, like all the braids and all the ruffles and the name and the homecoming and all that stuff. Then you can just start getting it all together and it comes together very, very quickly. So remember what I said, you could have two on the same. There we go. We're going to glue this up here. The next one, do the same thing. y'all you're gonna go through blue sticks The flower is gold. So I am going to use some honeycomb in blue. This is going to help frame this beautiful mom, that flower. It's just gonna, just a little added bonus. You don't necessarily have to do something like this. Um, actually, this is the first year I did it for my daughter. Um, she freaked out because I had some extra honeycomb left over um, for Miss, uh, For Miss Tiffany, I actually bought an extra one or two because I wasn't quite sure which one I was going to like better. So, because um, I did like how it looked on my daughter Delilah's uh, mom. So I knew I was going to do it with this one. It was just something a little extra that, you know, why not? I mean, we do these things once a year. We are such a football house. I'm such a football mom. So there's absolutely no reason not to go big, right? I will say this, this whole process is a lot easier when you have a helper. Um, I've asked for my kids to help me before, but they get very frustrated with me very easily because I'm a very particular person. I like things done a certain way and you're not going to listen to me or pay attention and you're on your phone or you're just messing around. I don't have time. I need to get these done. I got other things to do. So. 
as you can see, I'm used to doing these all by myself. <laughs> I'm so excited because once I put that on, we're pretty much done. And this mom is going to look amazing. You guys are going to freak out. I'm going to stand up and show you exactly what it looks like. And this little beauty will be the crown jewel of this mom. You don't want to come out when I want you to come out. So we're going to line her up with the hole in this piece of cardboard. And we are going to hold her until she dries. I think she is adorable. Now remember when I said I needed this little piece for a reason? Well, I do. I'm going to glue a little piece in the back. Because she will need something to hang it off of. I like to use, um, I'd rather use a piece that is a material rather than a piece that is, um, what do you call it? Like um, just the ribbon, because the ribbon, if you use a safety pin, it'll just come right through it. So I'd rather not do that. So yeah. She's pretty much done, so here you go, here is Miss Thing, completely finished and ready to go. She is ready for homecoming, and she'll be worn like this. For all her friends, hey girl, this is my mom, yes, I am Tiffany, and she's so pretty, isn't she? And that is how we do homecoming in Texas. I'm so glad you guys joined me. I really hope to see y'all soon. And Miss Tiffany, this one's for you. Bye, y'all. <laughs>